Today I'm going to show you the easiest way I have found to recolor things quickly and easily. So you can see here I have my project open and over here are my layers. So all I'm going to do is click this little box right here which just locks the transparency of this layer. And then I'll get my paint can and I will use it and there you go easy and because the transparency is locked you don't lose the anti-aliasing that you would lose if you don't lock the transparency so you can see when I zoom in here it is still really smooth so that's quick and easy um, I will also show you my lock is still on here when I have my paint can up here we have this contiguous so if I click that, it only fills in one dot. So that's easy if you just want to go around filling in some of the dots. Otherwise, it will use this tolerance here to fill in colors that are close, so within five whatever of each other. So in this case, it will make all the black ones purple. Um, you can better see that over here where I have many colors so if I come over here and lock this one and if I come down here and I want to change this purple flower you can see that that changed all of these ones that were a similar color to purple so that's another handy way of changing something that is entirely one color like this green flower here all the green flowers are purple now. One other trick, you can also use the paintbrush. So I have my paintbrush here and then I can just go around and you'll see how it's not painting these transparent parts out here because I've locked the transparency. One other way to do it if you're depending on, like if I want to paint just this flower here but it has all these pieces, if I use my marquee tool and I just highlight that flower and then get my paint bucket. It'll do everything that I've selected but nothing outside of here. And so using these different methods you can pretty quickly and easily recolor anything while keeping it, the edges sharp just like when you made the shape in the beginning.